So I've got kind of object here. And first of all, I'm going to choose a um, clipping plane. Uh, I choose three points. We have to show the way the surface is going to be like that. And with move, you can move the direction of this plane. It's going to be up, or it's going to be down. Well, look, it's a uh, kind of not the thing I was trying to achieve, but it's uh, easy to correct when you go here. You can flip the direction. So now it's um, exactly what I want. Uh, and now I choose the top view. I select this object and then I type made May to D enter and then he asks um, the view yes I need this view hidden lines okay okay and now after waiting for a while you have to zoom out and you'll find it somewhere in your drawing the new drawing has appeared. Well, it's not the something I would like to present in the way it looks now. Let's put some dimensions on it. Uh, for that, we also have this button here. And let's go like that. Enter and new dimensions. You see it's continuum, but I just say new chain. Enter and actually, I don't want it to that outside corner, so I just collect it. And the same thing here. Uh, the same way you can uh, um, measure your own uh, object and if you are not really happy with the size of these uh, dimensions now well, you can select it or select uh, them all and then uh, type here height for example set 2 I type in 2 and you see uh, mono scale um, I think I'm going to do it in 50 so I put it like that and I'll do the same here. I put it here set to and I tap here 50 meter. Now we made all the measurements of our object and the space so now it's the right time to export this to PDF in order to edit it for the further use. I select everything I would like to export and then I go to File, Export Selected and then I choose uh, of all of the possibilities. I choose uh, PDF and I just call it Export Plan Save. And now I get all kind of different options. So for example, I can choose what kind of um, paper I would like to use. Well, I choose A4, a portrait landscape resolution 300 is a perfect one. I choose for vector and black and white because I only want a black and white. And then let's see, I have a top view. And what kind of scale? Uh, one millimeter to five hundred millimeters. Margins to well, further is uh, everything is all right. So I say some reason I do not see it in the view. 
Okay, now I have it. I just type extends and I see how big my floor plan is going to be on uh, R4. I saved. Okay. Well, it's uh, successfully saved. So now I'm going to switch to Illustrator and we pick up the folder where we saved our plan and just sweep it into the program and then you see the way it opens uh, I zoom in with Ctrl plus and Ctrl minus uh, zooming out and press space I can pen I can move through the screen well now you see that if you want to do something it's not really possible because uh, you have to double click and now you're kind of in the in that uh, drawing and you can select everything is separately uh, well you see the lines are not really touching each other very nicely we can uh, correct it here for example by selecting it all and then we go to stroke if you don't have it here maybe if you check your windows you will find stroke here as well now you choose stroke and you choose uh, round cup and round join and now if we zoom in you see that it's closed up nicely uh, the same way you, you will see lots of rubbish here around and you can just select and delete it because you probably well, don't need it um, uh, also well furthermore if you don't like the thickness uh, you would also be able to adjust it by uh, selecting the lines it's by holding shift now to select the multiple and then adjusting the thickness well it takes some time but yeah well that's the way it works also you would like to add some color possibly this is uh, also possible to do by a very simple measure uh, first of all uh, we would like to select this all and then we go to object and live paint and make and after that we take this paint bucket or just uh, type K to get it because sometimes it's uh, hidden behind all these uh, other icons and now you can you see if I place my mouse uh, here I can just click and put the color so let's take the color first and uh, we go to swatches well you see it's empty well you can go to different uh, kind of swatches for example for uh, color selection by theme or just uh, um, well you can play with it choose what you like for example I just put some gray you see it's very easily to color it but uh, there is also the possibility for uh, for example patterns and lines of uh, textures dots well let's check lines so well, we can also switch it like this um well i don't know just try something out and see what you like and uh, yeah something like that and then i would like to call color my well it just uh, you can uh, look for colors what you like here but you can also just switch here you see you get all these different possibilities so we'll put this kind of section so we'll put it darker actually what, what i'm showing now it's not like uh, obligatory colors you can choose of course your own and you can also because I'm making it pretty fast, I don't really care about the quality, but I sh I'm sure you would like to show your project in the best way, so it would be better to clean off these uh, lines here and to make something uh, nice out of your project. And now I can uh, save this, because it's just a PDF. I just... Uh, file and I just save it and after that I'm moving to 
InDesign. 